So I finally got the software update that includes the Park Assist for my 2023 Tesla Model Y. So for the past couple of months, uh, I've been using the backup camera to really park inside the car. I basically, um, I mark, I understand like if I come a few inches inside the garage, I'm okay. So yeah, as you can see, there's a, my other car is parked and I have like a, some stuff on the right side of the wall. So let's see how this park assist works. It's been a really difficult because Model Y is pretty long, big car and parking inside a tight garage, it is a little bit of a problem if you don't have the USS sensors, the ultrasonic sensors. So let's see how it goes. Cool. So now this is actually, to be honest, is helpful that it is telling me I have about 22 inches in front. Um, and then this person indicates like the treadmill, uh, sorry, elliptical that we have. And I think this will be very helpful to me because it is indicating on the side. One comment I'll make if you have seen the Roblox game Noodle Arms, this does look like a car has noodle arms. I'll put a screen here. But uh, I'm very happy to see this update. I think this is going to be helpful. I don't, I will not have to rely on the backup camera. But let's see how it works. Pretty cool. So now I'm gonna try to drive back inside the garage and see how that works. So you can see the lines are coming in. I'm still kind of watching the sidewalls. A lot of noodle arms coming up. So I'm halfway inside the garage and it's still indicating no object in the front. Now it begins to look. This is close by, you can see from the wall. And let's see if I can reach my marker. The chime comes in, 33. This is typically where I would park, 14 inches, 15. All right, so this is more accurate. So as you could see in my case, this is very accurate. And uh, that's all I would need to park my Model Y inside my garage. So everybody's situation is different. I've seen some other videos, people complaining about it, but in my case, this is pretty cool. I'm very happy with this update. Okay. Here I am at work. I'm gonna try to park in going in first, face first, and let's see how it does. You can see there are cars. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's check what it is in the front. Okay, there's a lot of space here. All right, so you can see there's a lot of space. I'm gonna, just gonna try to back into this spot and see how it does. So before it was a little bit difficult to back in because I literally had no idea. This is my work parking lot. You can see the noodle arms are coming up. And you can see a faint line is also showing up in the back. You can see in the camera. So that's where I would normally stop, give enough space if I need to open the trunk. And let me go check. I would say it's a little bit more than 20 into the space. Pretty cool.
So in my case, this update is a very positive update and I really like it's telling me pretty much accurately how much distance I have in the front or um, when I'm backing into a parking spot. So I really appreciate it. Very happy that I finally have this update. Thank you for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much.